Happy Wednesday, church family, on this Walk the Walk Wednesday. Something that we're, we're doing brand new with our word of encouragement is that we want to walk through what we heard on Sunday and not only hear a message, but live a message. And that's what we're going to be doing every Wednesday is putting the words into our daily lives and we act upon it. I love to say we don't hear a message, we live the message. Or or James, scriptural speaking, he says, let's not be hearers only, but let us be doers of the word, which is an awesome thing because we just don't want to hear something and not do it. You know, and that's what we want to do and encourage you that what we heard on Sunday is a recap of today. We're going to recap today what we heard from Sunday and we want to make sure we're putting it into action. And one of the things that I love what Pastor Joe talked about was, you know, it is scary to be on mission. It is scary to go to that person that we don't know and start telling them about Jesus. But before we do that, let us kind of put things in perspective. Let us put things into kind of a context of, of, of steps before we even get into the part of, oh, I'm so nervous, I'm anxious now, I'm getting nervous that I'm being called to do this. Well, yes, we are called, but at the same time, his big idea, it reminds us that it's not what we, it's not what the church does, it's who the church is. And, and just a reminder of the big idea. This is who we become now. We go on missions for God. We, we live a life that is a reminder that this salvation that we receive is not only for us, it is now for the person that doesn't have it. And one of the things that we're going to be going through is just that familiar passage of the Great Commission in, in Matthew chapter 28. Uh, let me ask you this question. Do you guys all know that phrase, on your mark, get set, go? And you think when we hear that, we automatically feel like we're anxious already because we want to hear go, right? But there are steps in that cadence, right? The, the, the on your mark, get set, go. And you know what I was, uh, I was, I went back and kind of just found out where it came from. Obviously it came from, um, that cadence or that command or that, that, uh, um, that section of phrasing was before a race, right? Because on your mark was like the line that we see uh, before you run the race, right? Get set, get set was to put your foot on the block, the block that kind of propels you forward, kind of gives you that extra ump to go forward, right? To give you that extra something, right? So you put all your strength behind it and you push forward, right? And then the go part is you or me running the race. But when we start to think about the Great Commission, there is a on your mark, get set, go. Let's read it together. In Matthew 28, and this is a reminder of what we heard this past Sunday. It says in verse 19, Matthew 28 verses uh, 19. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Verse 18. It says, and Jesus came and said to him, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded, commanded you, and behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. In this small little passage, this Great Commission passage, there is on your mark, get set, go. Why do I say that? Because when we think about mark, it's the line that we start at. And if we think about what, you know, if we go back and, and we kind of understand what mark is, it's, it's that line that we start and we have to understand why they have to have an equal playing field. In, in, other, in, other, in other words, they have to line up or it'll be a foul, right? If they're, be, if they're ahead of the line, they're kind of cheating. You know what I mean? So let me uh, tell you a quick story before I get into this. There was a man that, that God changed his life and he wanted to make impact in his city. And one of the things that he wanted to do was this. He wanted to make sure his heart was right. So what he did was on his front porch, he put a circle of chalk in his front porch, right outside of his door, front door of his house. And he says, every time he walks out of the house, 
And no matter where he went, whether he went to a family party, to his job, to the store, wherever he went, he stepped into that circle. And then he, he stepped in a circle and he asked God, God, um, make sure my heart is right. Because if I can't, if I can't make my life, if, if my life isn't right, how, I'm, how am I going to go on missions for you to make other people's lives right? So what did he do in that circle? Before he stepped out of that circle, he wanted to make sure his heart was right with God. He wanted to make sure that when he was in that circle, he wanted to make sure what has he been doing from, from that point that he stepped into that circle. Has he had his private, his, his own personal uh, devotional time with God? Has he prayed? Has he did all the things that he is reminded of, of being a follower of Jesus? Because if he couldn't do that, how can he expect to, to be an impactful witness for Jesus as he walked out of that circle? And as he starts to kind of reflect on his relational life, he started to realize, okay, now that I'm ready, I'm ready to go. And when he stepped out of that circle, he recognized his heart was right with God. His, 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 his life was prepared to share the gospel. And when he stepped out of that circle, he was ready to go with, with, a, with, a, with a joy and an energy to go out and make an impact no matter, no, no matter where he went. And I believe that's exactly what was happening in, in Matthew 28. When Jesus says this in verse 18, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. That on your mark, when we think about it, when we think about sin, right? We all, uh, there's, a, there's a saying that says missing the mark, right? And when we miss the mark, that means that we haven't aimed in our right target. And God has to kind of direct our, 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 uh, our target back to him. So this is on your mark. This is the, the, the beginning of on your mark. And this is a reminder of us as believers, before we go, we got to make sure our heart is right with God. That we're not missing the mark. That our, our heart is focused on God and we know what God wants of our lives. Because if we're going to tell somebody to repent of our sins and we haven't yet, then we're missing the mark. And then the next part, it says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. This is the set. On your mark, get set. You know, before we became a believer in Christ, somebody had to walk us through Somebody had to lead us to Jesus. Somebody had to either preach a message or kind of guided, guided us to that point. This is the point where on your, uh, on your mark, get set. The set part is our personal relationship with God. What we know about God. Who, who, God, who is God in our lives and what is, does God want to accomplish through our life? Right? So in that circle that we're thinking of in our, and before we go, Right? We got to make sure that our, our life is founded on the, found, on the firm foundation of Jesus Christ and His teaching and His word. So we know when we go out there, we're not going to speak based on our own advice for people to know Jesus, but based on what God says in His word and what He has done in our lives. And the go part is this And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. You know, when a person is on your mark, get set, go. When the runner runs that race, he is relying on the, on the, on the confidence of, of, of his coach that put him on that line, that prepared him to run that race. So when he goes when that, when that gun goes off and it says go, right? His confidence is founded not on his own ability, but on God. And that's exactly what he's saying right here. When we go, church family, our confidence is founded in the, in the God that rescued our life and the God that wants to rescue the people that don't know Jesus yet. So church family, today, Let's follow those steps on your mark. Is there any sin in your life? Get set. What are you set on? Is your heart set on Jesus? And then once you have those two steps ready, let's go. Let's go today. 
Let's make an impact today, church family. So happy Wednesday, and let's walk the walk Wednesday today. In Jesus' name. Yeah!